you might even finish, huh? Okay. All right. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. It's great with the yellow on it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Which it wasn't the easy. But the text too is that we can literally space each letter out a bit more if we want. If you want. Yeah. And so what about uh, and so we can put those kind of like a squeegee way down the perfect. Here it goes.
Lovely. It looks good. Uh, I'm impressed. I, mean, I would like to do more. Uh, yeah, it's just like I'm beginning, and I'm very happy how it came out. But you know, you, you can always do better as you, as you go on. Uh, well, we we were sent the car from BMW, I guess. So all I had to do was paint on it, which was fun to do, uh, doing something three dimensional. I, I remember. The red dot was so you could see it from the air, and then being very satirical, having a picture on one side and fast on the other side. So it's all a comment on art. It's a typical Bodhisattva, isn't it? Yeah, very much. Well, I, I, at this point, I might change my mind, uh, but I think it's easier to, to do two-dimensional art than three-dimensional art. I think three-dimensional art is more difficult, but I might change my mind on that as I go on. I don't know. I, know that, I don't care about that. I think about the driver. <laughs> of course, yeah, because that's the competition. So I have to be better. <laughs> I would be curious what their program was. I mean, I think you're very generous in what you allow. Uh, I don't know that other cars would be as generous, but I'm happy with BMW. <laughs> but my first two ideas was, I think they all came at once, you know, having fast on one side and a red dot from the top, uh, and uh, a picture of the car on the side. Yeah, they're all kind of like trademark ideas that I use, so yeah, that was fun. Is that crazy? To me, it was a piece of art, and now it is, it is something that's going to be priceless. So to race something that is one of the art cars, it's iconic. And to finally have your name put on it, and to be able to sit in it and drive it and know that it's going gonna, it's gonna to stand the test of time is a piece of art. For me, it's a huge privilege. Um, I think when you're a race car driver, once you sit inside and I can't actually see what's outside and you get to racing with people, um, hopefully you forget because if, if that's in your head, then you'll never want to touch anybody because it's a beautiful piece of art. I'm trying to think. I think I've only done one work involving a car in my life, an, an image of a car. So no, I can't say it's an, an overriding concern. I mean, it's certainly an icon of uh, contemporary life. I mean, you can always divide up in the world and the people that have access to a car and people that don't. And it, it, entirely different lives. I mean, I was just over the weekend driving to Malibu Beach uh, for a, a party and, and all the people at the beach there, they had to get there somehow with a car, but how do they, how do they enjoy the comforts of nature if they don't have a car? They just sit home like this or, or they have to go on a bus. So it's, it's a really a big sociological issue. And, and that's just in the U.S. Think about the rest of the world. I don't know how I started. I, I don't know if it, the idea came immediately or not. I think I, I probably I thought about it a long time. I think, yeah, sure. You know, it's kind of like a woman, you know, she can't make herself up to look good only from one side. You know, she has to look good all around. <laughs> so that's the problem. Uh, it's the first time I've, uh, I've done sculpture before, but it's the first time I've ever, uh, in, a, in a sense, collaborated. Uh, uh, I, I didn't design the car, and, and, and when I've done sculpture, I, you know, it's sculpture that I do, three-dimensional. But here I, I, I collaborated with the, the designers of the car, and uh, and they have, I don't know if they got to say okay or it's not okay or not, but anyway, we collaborated. And, 
And then it, the challenge comes in making something that is just not understood from one point of view, but it's understood from a total point of view, that it, one, one area is not more important than the other. And I think that's the thing that was most concerned because it's very, you know, it could be very interesting, you know, it could get very interesting right in here, but then that would be an expense of this and expense of that and so on. So, yeah, it was a challenge and I enjoyed it because I knew a lot of people were going to see it and they, and it would have no idea who I was and they, you know, whatever experience they would have with art, you know, some, yes, some not so much, and some not at all. So it would have to be, I would have to address a very large public. So, there. Well, the reason I did that, I, 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 I like ambiguity uh, and playing between three dimensions and two dimensions. So I, it, it's, it's, it, it, it's, one is a contradiction of the other. You have it three, two dimensional and three dimensional at the same time. And, and uh, I think we, you know, most people live their lives uh, between two-dimensional images and magazines and newspapers as advertising. And then, you know, they might see an, an image of a BMW, they say, oh, I want to buy that. So then they move to the three-dimensional image <laughs> and they realize their dreams. <laughs> I think I like all of it. And I, I, I think if I liked a single part, that would mean that I was not successful. But I playfully, I can say I like the red here and, and the green over here because it says, uh, you know, don't pass on this side, you're going to get killed. Pass on that side, it's safe. The yellow line on the hood. Yeah, that was because I, I you know, I, I used yellow back here and I didn't want to have it just in one area. And, you know, in my work, as you know, you can see up here that I tend to use primary colors. I'm a big fan of Matisse, you know, and he, he used, you know, the red, yellow, blue, green, yellow, uh, green, blue, uh, and violet. And, but I, I, I limited this to the three primaries, red, yellow, blue here, because I thought adding your greens and violets and blues, uh, 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 uh violets would be too confusing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and I think it works very well. I'm very happy with it. Uh, I guess I could just call it fast, couldn't I? <laughs>